Hey guys, welcome to the weekly vlog. Um, this morning I've been painting the utility room, so that's had two coats of paint now in um, the same colour as the kitchen, so the light green. See that? Oh, this is utility sink. So when our stuff arrives, the washer and dryer will go here, hopefully, if it fits, if it's wide enough. Um, the green paint goes all the way down here. And now I'm just going to do a second coat in the toilet and the bathroom that we've done a light grey colour. We've got exciting things happening tomorrow. We're going to go and pick a puppy up. I paid for it um, yesterday. It's a little spring spaniel. We don't know what we're going to call it yet. We need to think about that. But it's being put on the pet bus, which I've never heard of before. There's a bus that drives from the north of New Zealand right down to the south of the South Island with pets on. <laughs> um, so it's being picked up in Palmerston North and being dropped off in Picton, which is about a four hour drive for us. So i um, looking forward to that tomorrow. So I'm going to get on my painting and I'll catch up with you this afternoon. So we finished painting this afternoon. We've painted all the utility room and the toilet and the bathroom. All done, all done. We're just off to the supermarket now just to get a few things. And um, I'm going to have to puppy proof the house tonight, aren't we Benji? And make sure there's no things lying around that it could eat. Just got back from the supermarket and jumped in the shower. I feel very refreshed now. We're cooking, we're trying to cook Cambodian lot black or something similar to it. Um, it's a delicious dish. Uh, it's like soy sauce, fish, sauce, sugar, oil, garlic. And it's only served with green beans, but we don't have any, so it's going to be served with chips and carrots and salad. I've got an early start tomorrow, so I'm going to jump straight into bed after dinner. We're setting off at half seven to go and pick the puppy up, so I'll catch you tomorrow morning. Good morning guys, we're on an exciting mission this morning to pick up a little puppy from Tim. <coughs> Bless you, Benji. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> um, it's 5 to 8. We set off at about 20 to 8. And hopefully we're going to get there for about 11. The puppies are ready for pick up at half 11. It got it, um, got a little ferry across this morning on its pet bus. So um, hopefully it's not been too scared over overnight. Hopefully we don't scare it too much. Some strange people coming to pick it up and then drive it four hours. <laughs> Poor thing. Poor thing, yeah. Pleased to get out. Yeah. Got an old um, driver in front of us. You can tell because he's got a cap on. <laughs> and he's driving horrendously. Well, slow. Slow and then speeds up on a flat, like really quick, so no one can pass him. Mm. And slows right down. He's braking. We're just driving through wine country, um, the Y Rao Plains, which is like really dry and um, wine, well, wine grows, grapes grow really good in the dry, so you find that all like, the fields are covered in um, grape vines. Um, to give it a little bit of water and a poop. Just say hello to the camera, little pup. <laughs> oh. 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 Just so many. I've just got just so excited all week. There's so much going on. Oh, puppy. Puppy. Really, really cute. puppy. Gosh, she looks happy. Come here. Lucy, Lucy. Lucy. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh, you look like you're going to be a handful. <laughs> you enjoy runs on the beach, aren't you? Yeah. Hey guys, had a bit of a mad day. Um, we just got home. The puppies wanting to play we just had to paint the living room because nz van lines around and asked if they could deliver our stuff tomorrow oh, talk about giving us like 
last minute notice, how ridiculous, like the state of our house and then we're meant to put all these boxes in it and furniture and stuff so quickly done a coat on the living room and then we're going to have to do two more coats tonight so it's like seven o'clock already. I need to give some food to this little puppy and have a play with it before doing the next coat of painting. Just thought I'd sign off, it's about half ten. We've painted two coats of paint on the living room. I shouldn't speak too loudly because we just put the puppy to bed. <laughs> I think she's going to whimper a little bit the first night, um, but hopefully she'll settle in. She just likes being on people's knees, cuddling. Anyway, wish us luck on our first night with the puppy, and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Morning guys, quarter past eight. Um, the puppy's out with Ben at the moment. He was very cryy last night. Um, sorry, she was very cryy last night. I'm used to having male dogs. Um, I got up at midnight and took her for a little walk because I thought maybe she needs a wee or a poo or something but walked around, nothing, so I put her back in bed, then she cried for a bit, went to sleep, up again at like half full, waited till five to then take her out for a walk. We were outside for about 20 minutes just walking around in a circle, had a little wee but no poop. Um, then Ben got up this morning about half six, seven and took her out with him so <laughs> hopefully I think she's just a little bit because obviously spring and summer have lots of energy and puppies have lots of energy as well and because she's been sat on a bus that pet bus coming down from Palmerston North for like a full day and then yesterday we were driving for a full day she's just bored and needs to run around and let off some energy so um, then take her out with the work dogs to give her a good run round and Hopefully she'll sleep better t tonight with some um, with some exercise. A lot of stuff is here. Just had all our boxes delivered. It was a bit of a lightning fast delivery, wasn't it, Benji? Mm. So I've got to try and pack it all now, and I don't know where everything's going to go. Because look at how many boxes we have. <laughs> Where's everything going to go? Our big sofa. Puppy. little puppy just loves being on your feet don't you missy just taking little miss for a walk because she needs a poop she's not gonna poop yet though she tried to poop in the garden so I grabbed her and we're now going for a walk in the field she's not wanting to poop in the field <laughs> don't really know what the difference is between the grass but she's not liking the field are you little missy What about if we go over to a tree in the shade and poop in the shade? Hey, she's finally going. That's some really runny poop. Just taking little Missy out for a walk this morning. We're not settled on a name completely yet. She's either going to be called Lucy. Millie or Molly. <laughs> I haven't decided. My memory card ran out on me this morning. Sorry about that. Um, I think I was saying that the um, little puppy, which we think we're going to call a Lucy, um, she was a lot better last night, but we think we're going to try and like set a bit of a routine up in terms of like going to the toilet in the night. So like if I if we let her out before bedtime, like at 10 or 11, and then if I get up and let her out again at like 2 and then Ben gets up and lets her out at 6, then hopefully she'll get in a routine and know that she's going out for a toilet, the toilet at that time. It's really hot t today. Um, this morning I gave her a little bath, which she absolutely loved. Um, she just sat there and I had to try and stop her drinking the water because I was shampooing her. Um, but she loved it. Um, it's so hot now and she's like burying herself as far under things as she can to try and get um, cool. Where's the little puppy? Where's the little puppy? 
Okay. You hot. Should we go and sit you in a bath of cold water? We'll turn the garden hose on and you can play in that. Shall we? Shall we do that? <laughs> Good puppy. Good puppy. <laughs> you want out of there? Ooh, should we get the towel and dry you off? Hey little pup, before you roll in mud. The puppy's now dry. Little puppy. <laughs> little Lucy. Little gorgeous Lucy. We've also been putting our stuff away. Um, so I'll show you a bit of that. This is the office. We turn the light on. This is the old desk that we bought from the UK. Bought it in an auction house. I thought it was quite nice. Big old desk. It's got a leather top. Just need to do the filing. We've set the sofa up, which I'm so pleased to have in. <laughs> got the mirror in our set of drawers. Ben made those, he was quite good. It was out of, um, I think it's like joist timber and I waxed it and then we bought the boxes that had fit in. Um, the TV's now on the wall. We have boxes <laughs> and a set of drawers in here. I need to put my clothes away. And lots of lampshades and a bed. Looks quite jam-packed that room, doesn't it? And then this bedroom, we've set our bed up. Oops. And wardrobes, and we got this chest. And we've got our dining table in over there. Just need to put stuff away, really. This is the range that we brought over. It's a Britannia range. And um, unfortunately, one of the legs has been lost in transit. So I'm going to have to email the insurance company and ask them what we do, whether we can get replacement ones or not. Just about to feed the puppy. Dinner time for little puppy. Um, I've made a lemon slice this afternoon. Oh, come out of there, little pup. Ooh. Come on, little monkey. Let's feed you and we'll take you for a walk too. Little puppy. Come on. Come on. Change of plan. Taking her for poops, for a walkie and a poops before dinner. Come on, little pup. It's been too hot for her all day. She's just been flaked out. I was worried about her at one stage. She's completely still and her eyes were like roll back in the back of her head. I was like, little Lucy, are you okay? And um, she shouldn't move for a little bit. I was a bit worried, but then no. she sprung into life about five o'clock. The big play with the sheep dogs. And then we just had a little afternoon nap. And now we're going for a walkie so you can have a wee. And she already had a poop. Not that you need to know about the bowel movements of my dog. Don't worry, she's not sleeping outside tonight. I'm just gonna have a shower, then I'll walk her, then I'll put her to bed inside. Come on, Lucy Lou. Come on, Lucy. <whistles> Lucy. She's trying to take Lucy for a walk this morning, <laughs> and she's not wanting to come with me. I tried to, um, I just walked her to this gate behind me. Well, I tried to walk her to the gate, she stopped halfway and ran back. So I carried her just now back to the gate and she just ran back again. Why is that? Is it because, well, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. I was wondering if it's because of the, the sunshine, she didn't like the heat, but it's not that hot yet. So that's why I thought I'd take her for a walk, but nope. Running back to the little garden to cause, cause havoc. Hey, look at you, just sat there. 
Like best butter wouldn't melt. Look at you. <laughs> you think you're so innocent. You think you're so innocent. You're not, are you? No. Look at you. And you're a little cheeky. Little cheeky head. Just wants to eat everything, including my fingers. Including my fingers. Ouchie. Lisa was so good last night. She um she barked at well, we went to bed at about ten, so we put her to bed. Then she started barking at twelve and I wasn't sure if it's just because she wanted attention because she'd only been let out two hours earlier. Um anyway, I got her up and let her out. Um and she weed and she pooped. And then Ben let her out again at half five six. I didn't hear a peep from her throughout the, the night and then when I looked this morning no wheeze or poops in the utility room so really good we might have cracked it um, I was going to set my alarm at like 2 o'clock last night and let her out then that's why I was a bit reluctant, reluctant to let her out at midnight but um, I think tonight I might just not set my alarm and just get up if she barks because it'd be good like I don't mind her barking if it means that she needs a, a wee and a poop um, as long as she then has a wee and a poop when I let her out um, so we might be winning I'm just in our little office room now just trying to knuckle down and do some work um, I think me and Ben are starting to get a little bit nervous about taking over the farm um, because it's all our money going into one business I've always been employed um, I worked, I'm a qualified accountant and I worked in insolvency back in the UK I've always had a, a full-time job basically working for someone else um, Ben's always been self-employed doing farming so he's he moved to the UK in 08 and did seasonal farm work around the UK and that's how we met because mum and dad have a sheep farm um, just outside of the Peak District um, and he was working doing um, helping mum and dad with the lambing um, anyway he wooed me and here, here I, I am in New Zealand <laughs> about to lease a sheep and beef farm. Um, so we've got quite a bit of money available to buy the sheep and the plant and machinery and we should have enough money for to use as like working capital. But it's so scary um, do, taking on your own business and investing so much money in something, like worrying whether it'll work or not, whether you'll have enough money to live on. Um, I'm sure we'll have enough money to, to live on. Um, but we're going to sit down and do some cash flows and things um, tonight, tomorrow to see how things pan out. Um, so I'm just sitting in the office. I'm just looking at marquee stuff because because I ran a wedding business in the UK. I quite like to do the same thing over here because um, there's a lack of wedding venues um, in Golden Bay where we're living. Um, so I think little marquee wedding venue in Golden Bay would go quite nicely but it just depends um, on the cost of setting it up. We've got quotes from two two quotes for marquees. We've got got a quote from one marquee company in New Zealand and one marquee company in the UK with the intention that we ship the marquee over from the UK to here but they work out about the same price. It's just depending on which marquee would be better and it might be a bit easier just to buy one over here rather than trying to ship it over. Um, so we just need to work out cost of marquee and setting everything up versus how much people will actually pay for a wedding and how many weddings we're likely to get every year. Um, it's a bit different over here because I, people don't seem to pay as much for weddings as they do in the UK. Like we were charging um, an average of say like £2,000 for our field for just hiring a field out in the UK without the marquee, without anything else, well with electricity and semi water supply um, whereas over here that's the equivalent of say five thousand New Zealand dollars like we'd probably only be able to charge between seven and ten thousand New Zealand dollars for our land and a marquee that would invest that we're gonna have to invest say a hundred thousand New Zealand dollars in um, so anyway I think I've talked enough about that I'm just stressing out here in my office trying to work things out and not let little puppy see the quails in our garden. Just on the way to Wainui Beach to collect some mussels and cockles, we've got the little puppy, Lucy Lou. It'll be 
be her first time seeing the beach and the sea. So um, she really likes water. So she might go for a little swim or a little paddle. Might have you? <laughs> Think she likes it. <laughs> All to ourselves. Hey guys, little puppy, do not follow me inside. Go out. You know you're not allowed inside. Out. Kiki pup. Um, today it's about four o'clock now, and oh, and this morning we've been over to Jay and Gab's just to talk about the farm and things. So we just wanted to run through with them um, when when things happen and get like a cash flow together and like the levels of like animal health payments and like lease stuff and things like that really so we can put a cash flow together um so we went over there about 11 and it's now four o'clock so we spent most of the day over there talking about that <laughs> um i'm just gonna do a bit of cleaning this afternoon just taking the compost out to our compost bin Little pups just fired up. You come with me. Come to the compost bin. <laughs> um, Ben's got his chainsaw out. His new chainsaw that he he ordered. And he's going chopping firewood. So yeah, a bit of a nothing day really. We're not really doing nothing that exciting. Just taking her for a walk and she's just ripped. Two holes in my jeans which were actually like not bad jeans. <laughs> the little sharp teeth biting my legs. <laughs> Everyone's gonna love you. They do, they do, they do. <laughs> Just taking the puppy for a walk and going to the wedding field and measuring up to see if um to see if the marquee will fit. <laughs> hey guys, this morning um it's about lunchtime now. This morning we were trying to move the calves that have just been weaned and they broke through. As soon as we let them out of the, the yard, yards, about 50 of them, well, all of them, how many calves are there? Probably about 50. They all jumped through the fence, fence after fence after fence, <laughs> right to the side of the farm almost. Unbelievable. Thought they were going to hurt themselves. None of them did, luckily, so we just left them in a field, chilling out for a bit, and then we'll move them into a field, into the field that we actually want them in. <laughs> so that was a bit of an unsuccessful morning. Ben's um, undertaken a project to extend my veggie garden, so he's just starting to box that out. It's now about quarter past six, I'm just cooking dinner. Um, we've just been really lazy today but not sort of benefited from it because we've been not doing a lot but then not relaxing either like we've been thinking we should do stuff. Um, done a little bit of stuff, I weeded my veggie garden, Ben's boxed up and put manure in the new veggie garden and that's about it really but um, no I've not really had a lot to vlog today so please forgive me, um, I'm just cooking dinner now. I'm just doing some propagation. Planted some leek, spinach, onions and lettuce in my propagator. Ben's playing with the puppy on the floor. It's like an hour of madness. Just been taking Lucy for a walk and I just had to run back. Get my camera because the sky is so amazing tonight. Come on, little Lucy. Come on. <laughs> Watch this. 
She's running, she's running so quickly and funnily. Her little ears is bobbing up and down. Come on, good girl, good girl. How amazing is that sky? It's so beautiful. Good girl. You'll sleep well tonight, won't you? I'm going to sign off for the week now, everybody. I hope you enjoyed watching my vlog and tune in next week. Please don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>